What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Corset Cube. Not to be confused with the Corset Cube, which is much, much more restricting. Is this Corset Cube or not? Yeah, it says in the it says in the description. Starfield of Nyx is interesting. It makes me want to build around it. Ponder is interesting. Sky Diamond is interesting. Angelic Destiny seems pretty good. I mean, when it goes to the graveyard, you just get it back. Like, that's crazy, man. Thank you! I'm gonna trust you guys. We're gonna go in Angelic Destiny to start. Plus four, plus four, and flying, and first strike. Keep in mind, though, this says when the creature dies, you return Angelic Destiny to its owner's hand. So if they bounce the creature, no bueno. Phantasmal image, demonic pact, I love. I don't know how many ways to get rid of demonic pact. Shinala, I'm not even gonna read that out loud. Not even gonna read it. I'm gonna take phantasmal image here. Like there's no really good white cards for angelic destiny. Windborn Muse, open the vaults, invoke. But phantasmal image is a strong boy. Uh, Sigil of Empty Throne seems really good. I'm gonna take that. I feel like the fact that that was still in here is pretty telling. Um, hmm. None of these cards are super exciting, especially after we just picked up a Sigil. Hangerback's a safe pick. I kind of like Breath of Life, too. Hmm. Oh, I like this Tezzeret a lot. Jeez. That's fascinating. That is fascinating. I think I'm just taking Tezzeret. It's still a Planeswalker. Plus it has an artifact theme and we just take a Hangerback Walker. Oh, patient rebuilding. It's an enchantment. Also, reprisal seems good. Yeah, I'm taking the patient rebuilding. I hope that sky diamond comes back, but I, I have my doubts. <laughs> Is trick bind in this cube? Wow. Oh, Kerwit. Oh, what up, Badgeress? Who am I drafting with? Doggins, Fyodor, Sasha, uh, M. Mr. Aleph, 90 Sparky, Keeper X, 
Zeppelin Lives, and Kim Capuan 42. You know, now you know. Honor is an enchantment. Boy, you ain't kidding. I'm going to take the Thought Courier. I want to be able to loot here. Oh, Druidic Satchel seems fantastic. We're taking that for sure. Starfield of Nyx came back? That's fascinating. Hmm. Affinity friendly artifacts. Thank you for the bits. Really appreciate you, buddy. Yeah, I'll take Invoke. Could take Demonic Pact, but I ain't there yet. Thank you. Oh, thank you for the resub, buddy. Oh, thank you for the gifted sub from Badger S. None of these cards are exciting. A lot of red cards coming around. A lot of red cards coming around. What up to vote? It's good to see all of you guys. BSP4 is correct. It is better than no cube at all. Bernadette. Wow. It's not terrible. So, I was actually thinking of playing L.A. Noir after Spider-Man. How'd you guys feel about that? L.A. Noir is one of my favorite games ever. And I haven't beaten it yet. Is it to scale? No, it's to look at. Oh, Jesus. Oh, dear. I love Time Warp, but I think Frost Titan might be better, and we have a lot of five drops. I guess taking a six drop's not that much different, but... Uh, it is a McDonald's cup, correct. Yes. Um, I really don't know what to take here. I think it's Frost Titan. Frost Titan seems very good. Basri Ket. This does not feel like a Basri Ket deck. Could be a Whirler Rogue deck. I think it might just be Platinum Angel. Platinum Angel seems really strong. What if it turns out you're Hitler at the end? I guess that's a good point. I guess that'd be really bad for me to be like, that was my favorite game. And then everyone's like, wow, he must love the twist ending. And I'd be like, I didn't know about it. Oh, God. I'm taking Platy. Oh, Sisse's ring is interesting. It's an artifact. It ramps us to these guys. This is basically just a shitty Hedron archive, right? <laughs> Which is still good enough, I guess. Oh, boy. You know what? Sure. Hmm. Where are all the enchantments at? You know, that are not peace of mind. It just doesn't seem great. The longest anyone is recorded to have stayed awake is 264 hours. Guinness no longer accepts attempts to beat this record due to the health. That's that's good on Guinness. They're like, no, no, don't try. You'll die. 
I kind of like sword. I think sword is really good, right? Have you played any Commander Legends? No, no, I have not. I, I don't really. I'm not. I'm not a fan of four-player formats. Um, Atacar Waste seems fine. It also seems like the best we're going to get in terms of dual lands. Devouring Light's also not terrible, but... They should design a shit vintage cube. The cards should all be vintage cards that are too terrible to play. You know, I disagree. I don't think they should design that, and uh, I don't think anyone would have fun with that. In 1997, Kleberg County, Texas designed Heaven O, the county's official greeting, because hello contained the word hell. <sighs> Fucking America. They're so stupid. It's cringe how stupid they are sometimes. I'm take Moo Yanling. You mean like trick bind? <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Uh, ooh, Pariah? No. Spectral Ward is actually pretty good. Protection from all colors. And plus two, plus two? Sure. I'll take another five drop. Actually, I might just want Charcoal Diamond. I want another Charcoal Diamond. I don't want another five drop. Oppressive Ray seems fine. Ooh, Lean and Warlier is great. Hmm... Let's take the oppressive rays. We're gonna try to rely on Sigil. The Sarah Avenger, Sarah Avatar came back. Wow. I'll just take Angelic Ascension. What is your opinion of diamonds being playable in Pauper now? I have literal zero opinion on that whatsoever. Uh, I think we're just taking Wrath of God here. Unsubstantiate is fine. Oppressive rays make a great jalapeno chitter chip. <laughs> oh, God. Why are you like this? Ooh, that came back? All right, man. I could see boarding in peace of mind, but even with Starfield of Nyx and Sigil of Empty Throne, I still don't think it's playable. On this day in 1783, Britain evacuates New York City, its last military position in the United States. That's interesting. On this day in 1930, Ito, Japan records 690 earthquake shocks in one day. That seems like a lot. Probably want to check on that. Make sure everything is okay. I am, I am, I am away. I did not take Yarok. That is correct. On this day today, I cleaned by laptop screen. Hmm. Well. I think I missed the third fact of the day. In 2018, robbers in Belgium were told, were told by a shop owner that he might have more cash for them to steal if they came back at 6.30. When they returned three hours later, they were probably arrested by police. Who'd been Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, all right, we'll come back. Thank I thought this was Psalm Simulacrum for a second and I got real excited. It was not. Oh, Neon Tokyo Rain. Thank you so much for the resub, buddy. I appreciate it. I like that we have very few creatures here. I don't think we're going to play Sword right now. Angelic Destiny. I think it's actually just telling time. Disciple is cool, but it's five mana. I, I thought this was a Psalm Simulacrum. Triplicate Spirits. I, we already have a Wrath. I don't think we want a day. I want to take telling time. All your ideas are worthless. Ooh. Well. Yeah. Sorry. About your bad ideas. You dummy. I want to take Sun Titan. Sun Titan and Frost Titan? What a time to be alive. Oh, man. I wish, I wish. <gasps> Ooh, Marble Diamond.
I feel like there should be some combo we could have with Intruder Alarm, but I ain't gonna I ain't gonna be the one to do it. Hmm. I think it's just Gideon Jura here. Ooh, I like Maze Mind Tome a lot. Oh, Claustrophobia though. Dang, that's really this is a hard pick. I mean, Claustrophobia, how good is Sigil for us right now? We have one, two, three, four. One. Two. I don't think it's actually that good. I think I'd rather have Maze Mind Tomb and go on on Tezzeret, and we can still play the Patient Rebuilding. So we would actually cut Starfield, Sigil. Everything else is pretty okay. Dark Steel Colossus, huh? Does that do anything for us? I really don't think so. I mean, I really don't think there's a uh, there's a tinker in this cube. Actually, Shimmering Wings and Sigil of the Empty Throne. That's a combo. Omniscience, huh? Oh boy. I mean, I don't think we're got. I don't think we have an omniscience deck, but I really also have no idea what an omniscience deck would look like I like Basri's lieutenant I think it's a good dude uh, Condemned seems fine alright I will take the other day if you're just going to give it to me no you got. You can just put this on your other guy right Enchant creature. you can just put this on one of their creatures then bounce it it's like you just play it three times then you get it back Triskelion, I was actually hoping would come back. That's pretty sweet. Okay, we need cuts. We can probably cut Charcoal Diamond. It's off color. and it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. How was my weekend? It was a weekend. It was just fine. Weekends don't really exist for the most part. Well, not in COVID times. Anyway. It's not like, I, you know, it's, it's hard to go out and like do things. So. I don't think Starfield is where we want to be. And I think we have all of the reasonable enchantments. I thought we were in COVID-3 right now. It's hard to say. So we need two cuts. Hmm. This deck actually looks pretty sweet. I actually kind of like the way this is looking. Did you pre order vaccine? Is that a thing you can do? I actually don't even know if that's a joke or not. It's kind of rough only having four enchantments. I mean, sadly, I have one more on the sideboard. MTG Pyro with the resub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. I 
don't think I care about Thought Courier. It also dies to Wrath. I mean, we, we don't have many creatures, but this is also like a deck that doesn't need many creatures. Like, we have Sun Titan, Frost Titan, Platinum Angel, Gideon. And I guess, I guess this is fine. Like, I mean... I mean, you can cut Lieutenant. I just think it's pretty... I think... I mean, I think a 4-5 with pro multicolor and vigilance is just fine. And then when he dies, you get a 2-2. Two, a two, two. I actually think that's pretty good. Actually, I have no idea what to cut. Like, unsubstantiate is one of the only things I'm, like, considering cutting. Which I think is probably fine. Play at a car wastes. And 8-8. Eight, eight. Sounds perfect. Done. Alright, let's see if this does anything at all. Okay. I'll keep it. It's a little expensive, but any land lets us go Basri's Lieutenant into Sigil. I tried to do a thing. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, the old rat train shop with the... <laughs> oh, Chicken Sunday Notebook. A classic. Sky Scanner. I love Sky Scanner. <sighs> Sign and Blood. They're basically dead. Okay. I got my first tattoo at age 33 last week. What what is it? Why ha why aren't we looking at it right now? We don't have anything to go with this, but if we draw something to go with this, Oh yeah. Is it a chicken Sunday tent? The idea was to crowdsource a merch shop. Anyone with design ideas, let me know. Um, well, that's a good idea. But do I have any control over this merch shop? Give me that, uh, give me that shimmering wings rays thing. Dragon's horde, huh? Oppressive rays. I mean, that seems pretty good. And we get to keep her wind up. Sure. And all profit goes to Mike for tax reasons. 
Well, that seems good. Everybody wins there. Especially Michael. They have five cards. Eh, God, I don't really want to deal with this guy. Mike B is a tax shelter. <laughs> Love it. I mean, that was a sweet zero for one. Zero for one? Some kind of number. Yeah. I don't really think so, my dude. My nerds. No bueno. Oh boy. That seems good. We also have a uh, Sun Titan in case this, this dies. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, you got it. 2-1 that draws your card? That'll do it. I wish I had more blue sources. Pristine Angel? I don't even have a Pristine Angel. I do a Platinum Angel, though. Man, making angels for one for two blue is pretty good. I say two blue because if you don't return it, you're not gonna keep doing it, so you can't you can't repeat the cycle with one blue. You need two blue to make an angel. If you're if you're assuming a cycle. Or a loop. Buddy. No, I'll pass. <laughs> this is pretty good. Oh, boy. <laughs> Explain this deck to me in one sentence. Uh, uh, making angels with blue-white control. That's all I got. Wings become angels. That's actually much better. Dang, that's good. I don't think I want to sideboard anything here.
Oof. Um, I'm gonna keep it because if we hit a land, if we hit two lands, it's not even, it's not even a question. Land? It's not a land. Okay. Still got a turn. I'm not really worried. Did you see a way to cheat omniscience into play? No, no, I did not. I imagine there has to be one, but I did not see it. Come on, one time. They did me so dirty, dude. So dirty. Mm hmm. Michael B. was a bullfrog. Burner. Come on, one time. Oh, yeah. We're back in the game. <laughs> Discarding Mutilate and Rune Scarn Demon. Solid choices. Hmm. Okay. I mean, I have, a, I have a phantasmal image, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> Ideally, they give me a land, so I can go phantasmal image into this guy and then just get a, like, day of judgment. That'd be kind of cool. Well, that's, that's no bueno. Neon Tokyo Rain, tell me what this tattoo represents to you. It looks good. That is a sizable tattoo to get at 33. I mean, for like for your first tattoo, especially. Oh, that's so sad. I am sad. You got it. All right. Well, things are happening here. We can play this into Satchel, which is not terrible. And we have one, two, three, four, five. We have seven mana. We can play this and then wings and return wings. Or we can play this and then patient rebuilding next turn. I think I kind of like this into satchel here. Sneaky, powerful guardians. Interesting. That's fine. Or we could just top deck Day of Judgment. That'd be pretty sweet. Still get to use Satchel. Old Satchy. Baby back ribs. Yep, taking seven. It's 
So they are going to use that guy. I would actually love uh, an, an oppressive ray here. Maybe not. Hmm. Being at seven when they have stupid rune scar demon is pretty bad. We could try to hit a card. Condemn is actually perfect. One, two, three, four, five mana. So we can play Sigil. One, two, three, four. No, we can't. Card goes in the hand. Card goes on top will be island. Yeah, okay. So we know we're drawing an island next turn. So I think we just have to keep up. If it's a creature, create a 1-1. One, one. If it's a land, put it on the battlefield. Okay, that seems good. One donation buck. Guys, I still haven't hit November Rent. That's actually kind of funny. November's almost over, guys. Um, So we know it's going to be land. So we can go 1-2, put the land on the battlefield. We know it's an island, which is actually pretty okay. Oh, we actually have one floating. So we have one, two, three, four. We do have five. So we'll just go white, satchel, free land, sure. I, mean, I think we have to actually drop one, two, three, four, five, six. I think we have to actually get rid of patient rebuilding, unfortunately. And hope they don't have a counter spell here, I guess. Hmm. Okie dokie. Golos and Warp World for uh, for Omniscience. Oh, Sphinx of Athune. They have all the seven mana hits. They got Factor Fiction and Demonic Tutor. Seven drops. Sign and Blood, too. Discard. Patient Rebuilding. Doomed Necromancer is fine, but it gives us at least a turn before they can start doing anything. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. We're not going to put planes into play because we want to be able to discard it. I don't really want to take three here. From Big Lils. Here we go. Targeting Massacre Worm. Sure. Oh, I think we're just dead. They can kill one. We take two, go to three. We have to block one. We take two, go to one, and then we die from... Yep, cool. Mask is a fun card. We 
We also had a pretty late start that game. I kind of like God's Willing. I think our deck's probably fine. Yep, snap that. Oh, I like that. That seems like it's going to be hard to deal with, I would imagine. And we get to keep that up? Oh boy. Don't terror me, bro. Doomblade? That's fine. I'm gonna actually let that resolve because it doesn't actually affect us. We don't lose the Planeswalker. It's actually a zero for one, so... And we get to untap into Gideon? That's pretty good. I have yet to feel like the uh, the untap from rewind is relevant, but the countering a spell is re is relevant, so that's good. <sighs> Probably gonna untap into that guy instead, right? <laughs> Dude, whenever I get nugs and they don't bring sauce, I'm like, are you serious right now? Is this a practical joke you're playing on me? You got it. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I also keep a reserve for just such an occasion. Choose you, like a Pikachu. Create another Thopter. I feel like we're in good shape here. Three Planeswalkers? <laughs> okay. My preferred Nug Sauce is Barbecue. So next turn, if we play Basri's Lieutenant and make a Thopter, we actually have, um, we'll have land Thopter Basri's Lieutenant to convoke Devouring Light, which is pretty sweet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mask Whenever the center's battlefield, I discard a card. Whenever an opponent discards a card, they lose two. Sure. I think we don't need Shimmering Lights at this point. Shimmering Wings. Oh, I said Shimmering Lights. It's kind of funny. Spectre is a wet fart. Yeah, we get rid of that guy while they have nothing else to do. We're going to plus here.
I mean, if they have mask armor, it's pretty good. But, I mean, we take six, but then, like, we still have three planeswalkers, a devouring light, and a Basri's lieutenant, so. I'm gonna. Tireless Tractor, I hope I don't insult you with my controversial take, but Sweet Baby Ray is, is mass produced trash. I'm a bigger Stubbs fan. Next time you go to the store, get some Stubbs. Get yourself some Stubbs. Oof. <laughs> Oof. That's a hit, alright. Well, Stubbs has like six varieties, so it's not an issue of, of regionality. This guy kind of scares me a little bit, I'll be honest with you. What does Tezzeret's emblem do? I really can't see it here. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll just have to... Okay. Uh, at the beginning of your end step, search your library for a permanent card put on the battlefield. Jesus, that seems great. It's not going to happen, but it still seems great. Um, I'll give you... I'm not going to put Agent by itself. I'm not going to give them four cards. They have one card in hand. I also don't think taking one of our Planeswalkers is worth these three, so. Yeah, see, like, they would never have taken Agent by itself anyway. These three cards are great. Joy to the world. Well, now I know our Planeswalker is safe, at least. We could draw two here. It's We're not going to plus one. Even though... God, the emblem next turn is really good. I'm not sure they have a way to deal with it is the problem. We, we would take more damage from the stupid idiot. I'm just going to zero here. Drawing two seems really strong. Patient rebuilding also seems really strong. Okay, so we know they're gonna we know they're gonna play Mass Corm and kill these three. So we're going to have a 2-3. We can kill one, block one. Yeah, that seems good. Her emblem seems nuts too, so. We'll make this guy a groundy boy. Oh, they also have to attack Gideon, so like, that's interesting. Do you have Vigilance? Nah, it doesn't do anything. Kerwin, have you not seen the Jones Barbecue and Foot Massage video? Dragon's Horde into Maskorm. That seems good. Jones Barbecue and Foot Massage. Alright, you got it. Okay, so we know their two their two cards are Phyrexian Rager and, and Vampire Nighthawk. Yeah, this actually seems really good for us. Can someone link Jones Barbecue and Foot Massage to Kerwit? 
They all gotta come, bro. <laughs> Okay, got got to got to sack that looter now, my dude. Okay, well you can't just hit okay. You got to send them all. Gideon doesn't say only your Sphinx of Athun must attack him. It's all creatures, all creatures. There we go. We figured it out. Go to blocks. Eat this guy. I don't even take any damage. Beautiful. So next turn we get the ultimate Mu Yanling and have all our islands draw us cards. Is that good? Feels good. Mill them for three. Got the Zombify, which is legit. Wrath of God seems pretty bananas here. So does Frost Titan. Jeez. How much mana do we have? Four, five, six, seven, eight mana. So we can go Wrath. And we get a 2-2 two -two if we do that. Is there any way we can kill this guy? We can make it a 4-5 into my 4-5. It's not exciting. We have a lot of things to do here. And we actually have more time on our clock, so I ain't super concerned about it. We know these are their two cards. Yeah, I think we just Wrath here. Yeah, make a guy. Oh, we also get to keep Mu Yanling even if we make the emblem? Oh, Jesus. That's insane. They have no creatures, so we're just going to attack with Gijin. What's better, getting Satchel down or drawing two instead of one? I think getting Satchel down and then... Yeah, I'll draw one less for a satchel. Also, next turn being able to ultimate Tezzeret as well. End of turn, search for any... Oh, man. <laughs> oh, boy. Any permanent? <laughs> God. Yep, there's a Rager. Blightsteel Colossus is what happens when Darksteel Colossus listens to Marilyn Manson. I was a big Marilyn Manson fan in high school. I was edgy AF. <laughs> oh boy. Jones Barbecue and my islands draw cards. Get out of here. This is wild. How do they beat this? Why are they still playing? Millie for three. Okay. Sigil? And <laughs> Platinum Angel? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, Y'all gotta attack Gijin now. I'll make a second emblem during this game. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. S just play Sigil here. Doesn't matter. Um, Yeah, this guy. Show me that small. What up, the antibody? Antibody. Do we just angelic destiny? That seems really good. Yeah, use that ability for sure, my dude. 
Yeah, we'll just put it on Sun Titan. God, now we have to choose whether we want to draw a card or make a make a four four. And they only have seven cards with patient rebuilding hitting them for three. They have two turns. Does not seem ideal. <laughs> okay. Mm, block. This guy still has death touch. I guess it doesn't matter, right? I have a feeling they have like a Wrath of God or something, but or uh, you know, dam damnation is an option. They have they mutilate was already in the graveyard, wasn't it? Oh, that was last game they discarded it, so they're probably gonna mutilate here for six. That's okay. That's fine. I can't imagine that's a scary thing. We have Frost Titan. We have Gideon. Did you finish Spider-Man? No, not even close. We're going to play some more today, though, and I'm looking forward to it. Uh, that, that match was also a bloodbath. Were Marilyn Manson and Tom Green related? No. Marilyn Manson's real name was Brian Warner. It's actually pretty good. They got two, three, four, five, four, four, five. I ordered my new video card from GameStop and waited eight days with no update at all. Contact customer support and they said they didn't even have it in stock. After 45 minutes on the phone, finally got the order canceled and purchased the same through Best Buy and shipped it in less than six hours. St Dude, GameStop is actual trash. The number of, of shit horror stories I hear about GameStop compared to the number of, like, positive heartwarming stories is actual... Like, the, it's gotta be, like, one out of a thousand. And I'm pretty sure Marilyn Manson is from Columbine. <laughs> Oh, shoot. Well, we missed the land drop, guys. It's sad for everybody. Also, Music Manly, what card did you get? Did you get a 3070 or 3080? Jupiter Hollowed, what up? Good games. Um, Yeah, the three Planeswalkers was probably a little much, I, uh, I admit. But yeah, this cube is weird. This is my first um this is my first draft of this iteration of the of the Corset cube. So I just started picking planeswalkers because I'm like, man, in Corset's planeswalkers have got to be good, right? GTX 1660 Super. I don't know what that dude is. Hold on. Hold on, now I gotta Google it and see where 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 you are on the hierarchy. Oh, that's probably still fine. Dude, I had a 1080 before I got the 3080 and it was fine like I, I actually didn't have any problems whatsoever like I think if you're buying top end video cards not like the 3080 or the 3070 even like you're definitely future proofing more than anything and like most stuff can 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 run alright we're either phantasmal imaging and copying the hanged executioner and keeping up a land for this guy however they do exile it so I'm not as big on that or we can just play satchel and satchel could help us hit land drops in the future chicken patty i 
And I guess we'll just... Uh, oh, oh, no, I was going to attack, but they didn't, they didn't like that. The F6 gods did not smile on my decision to attack. No blocks. Oh, interesting. Okay, well, <laughs> guess we'll try. <gasps> oh, magical! I think we're actually just going to copy that with Phantasmal Image. Yeah, now our hand is looking real good. We have Rewind Mana, we have Wrath Mana, Basri's Lieutenant Mana, and Angelic Destiny Mana. The Eric something show on Adult Swim runs me with Tom Green. The Eric Andre show? Yeah. Eric Andre show is pretty wild. It's definitely uh, peak surreal comedy. Oh, yes. This is what I was hoping they would do, actually. Oh, boy. We're living, the, we're living our best life right now. Okay, that's a good card. I, uh, I don't like that. So one, two, three, four, five. Let's give Vigilance. It doesn't give Vigilance. I don't believe it doesn't give Vigilance. What we could do is actually activate this guy. Ooh, I think I like sitting behind this with Angelic Destiny up. And then we can either pump it, or if they kill it, we get the blockers anyway. So, that's cool. They really have to exile it for it to, like, make a difference there. How many Pirates of the Caribbean are in the Pirates of the Caribbean collection? Yeah, that's fine. This is all making my Wrath of God just so much better. Also, if we hit a land next turn, we can pump at the end of our turn, pump at their turn, and then Wrath of God. Oh, I see. I, I see. I understand. Why don't you tap the locks on Warhammer instead of the Thopter, though? That's my question. God, locks on Warhammer is such a beating. See, now the question is, like, do I plus this guy, or do I actually just Druidic Satchel here? I think we plus. We don't know what we're going to hit with Satchel, and if it's a creature, it's not great. The only thing we really want is a land. It, it would have been a land. Is it better to get seven damage in or make one more Thopter? These are all questions that we're asking ourselves. Push it to the limit. Do, 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 do. So we get the Angelic Destiny back. We get four 1-1s, one and we can still activate Satchel. So that's actually pretty good. They have four cards. God, it seems like every opponent has so many cards in their hand. Thank you. Snoozle Moo, welcome back. Return all non land permanents with Vermeer's cost X or less to their owner's hand. What are you going to do?
I actually kind of just want to keep rewind up here, to be quite honest. Because next turn we can actually keep rewind and play lieutenant. Um... They have four cards. They didn't do anything last turn. I mean, it's an 8-9 flying first strike. If they kill it, get the thing back. I'd rather spend 4 mana this turn. I'm also probably going to activate Satchel during upkeep. Because what you want to do is you want to hit land. If there's a land there, then you're not going to draw it. So that's a bummer. Wow, Sublime Epiphany and Time Stop. Seems good. They're going to crack that immediately. I don't think they have very much in their hand. They're not playing anything other than keeping up six mana counter spells. It's fine. It was telling time. Uh, <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, we're gonna. Okay, we're gonna put patient rebuilding in hand, because I actually think that's almost better than. Oh wow. I mean, this seems harder to deal with. So Tefra goes to one and you're milling while we have patient rebuilding out. Got it. So another the top card is Tezzeret, so we're going to gain three life. Two life, rather. No. We're going to make a... Yes, gain two life. River Brineborn Cutthroat. Not terrible when you have Time Stop, Sublime Epiphany, and presumably other counter spells as well. Sure. That's that's no longer our win condition. Draw two? Nice. Like it. Uh Okie dokie. Okay, we just won the game. I was playing around to counterspell, but you know, I figure if they had uh they had something to counter the lieutenant. Okay, we're playing a more control deck here. Invoke can definitely come in. I assume they're gonna have something for that. We can take our wrath. 
God's Willing also seems decent. Probably take out Condemn. I don't know. Condemn seems fine, I guess. Did we mill a Teferi's tutelage? Bring an unsubstantiate, God's willing. Add one more land. We'll go up to 43, because if they're trying to mill us, that's cool. blue sources this hand's great if we drew like non-stop lands turn two diamond into turn three moo into turn four tezzeret or patient or building jeez okay Put Sunny T back. I Curse of Oak Island is one of my literal favorite shows. It is one of my favorite guilty pleasures, my dude. I was really hoping COVID wasn't gonna delay the, the like the ninth season by too much. Might be eighth. How come you didn't Phantasmal with your hanger back, Walker? Ooh, I like a little Satchy here. Twenty twenty might not be the best year to look for curses. <laughs> well, they're not looking for the curse, man. Come on, they're trying to. They're trying to avoid the curse. I forgot Twitch is open until you whistled and I was standing alone and scared the bejesus out of me. Wow. What is this? Bane Slayer? That's pretty cool, right? So if we Phantasmal Image Bane Slayer, they're just going to hang Executioner and get rid of it. Could Angelic Destiny, but again, they exile it. We don't get any tokens. Uh, do you watch it weekly? Usually, no. Usually I'll download the episodes and then just watch them all, you know, whenever I have time. Um, if I'm able to catch it when it's on, like when it, when the seasons are still going, I will watch them when I have time. Like, so I'll download it on Tuesday, watch it on, like, Friday. Uh, we can image the hangman, but again, they can just kill it. And we can't sack anything because it costs three to activate, or costs four to activate. And also, you're not sacking it, you're exiling it. Not, I don't think that makes a difference, but uh, it does mean we cannot like, get Phantasm Ninja back later in the game. I kind of just want to image in, like... Image copy Baneslayer has no upside, whereas image copy Executioner...
Wait, season eight is uh, started? Are you serious? I thought there was going to be a sizable delay. Oh my god, that's I'm super excited right now. <gasps> it premiered November 10th? Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I would have assumed both COVID and like just... Wow, I really would have thought COVID would have a, a higher... No, November is around the time they start each year. November, it's usually like November to February is the season. Oh my god. I'm like so excited right now. Oh my god, I sound like such a nerd though, right? Oh my god. Dude, I'm so glad you told me. So, our only real blocks are here, right? Like, that's all we can do. You are such a nerd. Hey, why don't you keep coloring Robins and Batmans, you freaking nerd? What are you getting rid of? My hanger back walker? That's fine. We could have actually God's willinged, but I, I don't think that's... Wait, but can I just exile your stupid Bane Slayer now? That's weird. Give me a land. Land is all you want on this stupid thing. Yeah! Oh man, two lands? My god. Ble hashtag blessed. I just do it now, right? I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. Probably now. They get a turn to do whatever they want, which is fine. Oh, they got they have the gods willing? Wow. Yep, okie dokie. Dude, I could tell because every time you every time you posted the picture, the robin was still just totally green on the slide. Oh man, Yale is Yale is one of my artist friends, and uh, he's been working on like this this DC uh, this DC commission that has like thirty two characters in it. Let's do this, and if we hit a white, we're gonna God's willing. Sisse's ring. Shh. Are we just gonna die to Bane Slayer Angel here? Oh my god, he took the file without the colored robin? <laughs> That's heartbreaking, dude. Oh my god. I'm so sorry, man. You gonna time stop this? No? Okay. <laughs> you should just be like, he's just in camouflage. That's just camo robin. I mean, we're not dead. We also have Angelic Destiny and God's Willing here. One, two, three, four, six, we have eight mana. This is five. Just don't have an answer in your four cards, I guess. I mean, we know they will. They're going to have time stop here. No, they did not. The issue is the client wanted a paste up correction rather than me just going in with with whiteouts. So the reason it's as long is because it had a light box and basically redraw Robin in this. That sounds like a pain, yeah. I guess for the price, it's like you know. They they can they can have it the way they it's like Burger King. They can just they can have it their way, I guess.
Yeah, that's pretty good. So if they have a way to deal with this guy in their four cards, it's pretty bad. Yeah, I'm sure they will. Cool. Yep. Alright, so we're definitely bringing in like a Wrath of God and another white source here. I let you draw five times with baby Jace. Just let me mill you. <laughs> what more do you want? God. That's a, that's a snapperino. Come on, let's hit a blue source so we can move Yandling before they can do anything. God, Sublime Epiphany seems great in this format. It's just not, it's not too powerful. The format itself is not too powerful, so like, Sublime Epiphany kind of does some work. Another white source. Well, at the worst, we have Basri's Lieutenant next turn, so. Just come on, blue source. Another white source. Sounds good. Sure. You got it. Yep. Blue source. Stupid deck. Oh, that's frustrating. That's really frustrating. It's only like four activations of Mu Yanling that we're going to miss. So that's really unfortunate. Okay. Oh, uh, because you cannot remove a three four with a reprisal with the trigger on the stack. Yep, you got it. Just gotta <laughs> perfect. Just, just perfect. Yep.
Okay. You got it. Oh, Jesus. This is absolutely fucking frustrating. I mean, the fixie's not fantastic, but I also don't think you're supposed to go, like, four colors here. I also don't think in any sort of... In any two-color deck, I should really be having a fucking problem with a second blue source. Ten turns into the game. Yeah, this is just, just, just wild. Let me guess. Sublime Epiphany. Counter, copy, bounce. That's my guess. I'm just gonna concede because we know you're choosing your modes right now because you've had it every single game in three games. So. Yep, just trying to figure out the best modes. Oh, it's just resolved. Fascinating. I guess she still dies. I guess they're probably like, mm, who cares that she's still dead? <laughs> sure. Oh, uh, sure. Eleven turns without drawing a land. I assume that's IRL, right? Not online. So you can't even, like, blame the Shuffler for that one, I presume. Which is frustrating. Eight mana. It's not great, but could be worse, I guess. I mean, I'm pretty sure we're basically. Oh, they're just going face. They're like, I don't even care about your stupid Mu Yanling. <laughs> okay. That's not bad. Eight mana as well, huh? <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, so we can actually play Invoke and Tezzeret this turn. I don't think we're in a Platinum Angel position because they could just kill it somehow. They have seven cards in hand. It's a lot. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Wish we activated the Moo Yanling. I still think this is a significantly better position than we were in. Better if we activated Moo and attacked first. Significantly better. I was more worried about Sublime Epiphany than Time Stop there. But I did think it was worth uh, resolving Invoke the Divine more so than Sublime Epiphany, so, or uh, rather than Tezzeret, so. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Oh! Oh boy. Good times. Oh, good times. And that should probably seal the deal. Hmm. Yep. 
Oh, that's fascinating, isn't it? Wow. Okay. <laughs> now a game has been had. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, the patient rebuilding mirror match. That's kind of hilarious, actually. Okay, so they hit two lands, so we mill two cards. Unfortunately, we don't have any Eldrazi in here, so we don't, we're not going to be able to shuffle those guys back in. Yep. Alright. I think the Teferi's tutelage does give them a pretty sizable advantage here, but... Yep, draw, draw another one. So this is just basically a blue-white mirror match. Yep, draw another one. Yep. I'm pretty sure when they're drawing most of the cards in their deck, they're going to have an answer to uh, Platinum Angel, but... We could also hit God's Willing and make them have two answers, but that seems ambitious as well. I said unless. Okay, take it easy. Take it easy. You got it. Okay. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, with ten mana. We have nine cards in our deck? Jesus. Oh boy. So if they if they happen to hit three lands, we go to six, they draw three cards. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So all lands are here. Our deck is all spells. Is that correct? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. No, we added two lands, I think. So I think there's two lands in the deck. So I don't think it's actually possible for them to just kill us. But it still doesn't feel great. I think we're pretty much dead. Mindstone does draw a card too. Yeah, that's that's fair. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure we're dead. But I'm also pretty sure that if they're able to draw like the, the remaining five cards in their deck somehow. They're drawing at least two of them. Or the, uh, never mind, they have 11 cards in their deck. Um, okay, so land, telling time, sigil. Yep. So we're at four cards. Now we're at two cards. Oh, we're just dead. Yeah, okay. Yep, that seems great. <laughs> that was a match. <laughs> Well, what can you do?
Do you have any ideas about the myth of Oak Island? I mean, I, I, the reason I started watching the show is because I was uh, pretty familiar with the with the curse and like the island itself and all the booby traps and things. Um, and I was really hoping someone would explore. I have no, no, I have no, I have no insight into the into what it. I mean, n there's nothing I could present or, or or speculate about that would actually be um, different than what's already been presented or speculated about. This seems pretty good here. Oh, let's be honest. Maze Mind Tome seems good all the time. I mean, if we could stop... If we could draw fewer lands, that would be great. I'm a big fan of that. Uh, I think I just want to play hanger back for two here. Yeah, that seems fine. They have not done anything, so... If you want to counter Hanger Backwalker, that's totally fine. Yeah, you got it. I mean, Ma Maze Mind Tome is the, the one I care about resolving. It basically draws us four cards and gains us four life, so... I will say if the show concludes without ever finding anything, I'll be pretty pretty disappointed. So like, do I care about this Moo Yanling? I do care about Moo Yanling. Okay. I mean if we're playing one for one and I get to draw four extra cards, that seems good, but our hand is not super impressive right now. Okay. This is not one of the better Chandras. Oh, we just get to resolve a Tezzeret? Deal six damage to each of up to six targets. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, five. Just play Tezzeret. I don't know what other counter spell you could have. You already used Mana Leak. For two mana, I mean like... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll also have nine next turn, so we can go Sigil, make a 1-1, one, one, Angelic Destiny, the 1-1, one, one, make a 4-4. Four, four. I mean, that seems pretty good. I like that I tapped in such a way that I actually have to, uh... I actually have to take a point here. It's terrible. Terrible mana management, but we get a 4-4 either way, even if they kill the Thopter in response, which is fine. They just shot good old Tezzy. And exquisite firecraft. Let's see if your last card is an instant. 
Wow, they really didn't want to double the... That's interesting. I think doubling the Exquisite Firecraft would probably be better, but... Yep, cool. That was a solid turn. Where you got to do everything you wanted to do because you had all the mana in the world. I mean, they're now in top deck mode. And if they want a negative six to kill Gideon and deal us six, that's fine. That's also fine. Guess we can just pass. <coughs> wow, they're just gonna keep going up, huh? I guess the alternative is not great. Okay, in response, you're going to draw a card. Definitely attacking Chandra here. Because we don't want them to kill our Sun Titan. We also don't get anything back with Sun Titan, which is unfortunate. Still a six six though. You know what? Sure, I'll get the hanger back, walker back. <laughs> Why not? Um Does oppressive rays fall off? I think it does, because he's no longer a creature. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh-oh. Are we dead? Oh. Okay. Seems fine. Oh. We just... Oh, they just conceded. Fascinating. Um, Planeswalker seems really good in this format. Because, like, there's not a ton of things like Braska's Contempt or, you know, Eat to Extinction, what have you. I do like... Keep liking God's Willing. I don't think we're a Wrath of God deck against them. I wish we had more answers against Planeswalkers, but not really. Angelic Ascension, I guess, is a thing. Actually, it's not bad for a Planeswalker removal, I guess. Giving them a 4-4 is rough, but, I mean, I think we can deal with it. <laughs> I 
One mana, four, four angel. Yeah, buddy. You're here for the good stuff. I'm going to bring the Angelic Ascension in. We'll just submit. I'm okay with it. Maybe we should have been playing it the... Wow. I mean, this is fine because we have Hangerback Walker. It's I, I do wish we had more uh, white sources in our opening hand, but, you know, what can you do? Oh, look at that. They gave us one. Wonderful. So we're probably, with nothing else, we're probably just going to go hang, uh, Marble on two, Hangerback on three for four. Seems good. Assuming they don't have Dissipate or Mana Leak. Oh, they're just going to tap out. That's pretty good for us. Yeah, Gutter Snipe is fine. Hmm. Man, land next turn would be quite nice. Uh, white man Planes, specifically. You know, don't get me confused. take two this is a pretty solid blue red spells deck oh look at that God, we ask and they delivered shimmering wings would be quite good here Boy, they're getting real aggressive. <sighs> so they attack with everything. We take two, three, four if they have a spell. So any spell that deals three kills us. I'm just going to still tap down their island. We might just be dead here. They've dealt us eight with two spells. Oh, they didn't do anything. Well, that's good for us, I guess. Huh. Now we just need to be able to activate this four times quickly. <laughs> Okie dokie. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think we're dead. All right. Yep. Okay. Could be good. That could be good. Four, five, six, seven.
Just yeah, tap one of your blockers down. That is actually really good because now they are going to take... Wow, Teferi's going to go to one here? Six, seven. Big plats. So now they can't uh, fade out. <laughs> well, that's pretty good. Oh my god! Platinum Angel wins the game! Thank you for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. If you're looking for a great subscription deal, check out manatraders.com. You'll get 15% off with the link and promo code down below. I'll see you next time, guys. Be sure to support the channel by subscribing on Twitch or on YouTube. I'll see you later.